here are the advantages and disadvantages of having a prep center. Advantage number one, you don't have to prep. Somebody else is prepping for you, doing all the work for you, like receiving boxes, opening boxes, making sure that the unit looks okay, labeling and putting it into new boxes and shipping it to Amazon. All that is done by somebody else. Advantage number two, if you're ever traveling abroad and can be at home to receive the inventory, you don't have to worry about it. Let's say you're on a summer vacation for a month, then your prep center will continue receiving and prepping the merchandise for you so your business doesn't have to pause. Advantage number three, I tried at the very beginning to receive the inventory in my house, but I don't have a little awning in my main door. So what would happen is that sometimes it would rain a lot and many of my packages would get soaked. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. When you are working with a prep center, they have a huge warehouse and it's operational, usually Monday through Friday. And they are fully responsible for the merchandise and they receive inside their warehouse. They usually have awnings and nothing gets soaked. Advantage number four, it's a huge one. You actually save a lot on inbound shipping to Amazon FBA by using a prep center. The reason is you can wait for the prep, you will instruct the prep center when to take your shipments out to Amazon. And I usually like to do it once a week to accumulate a lot of inventory so that the shipment contains a lot of boxes and that gets me the lowest possible inbound shipping rate from Amazon. Yes, you can do that at home too, but imagine occupying an entire room in your house multiple rooms full of merchandise that you can't use anymore. This is not your house anymore. It has turned into half house, half warehouse. Advantage number five, this is a huge one. A huge advantage is you should be choosing an Amazon prep center that is located in a tax-free state like Delaware, Oregon, and a few others. And that alone will pay for the cost of the prep center and more. The bigger and more expensive the units that you have them prep, the more advantageous it is to you if you don't have to pay taxes, sales tax on that. And the reason for that, let's say you buy something that is $100 worth and you get tax, sales tax on your state, 7%. Now you're paying $7 tax on that item alone. And the prep center usually charges you anywhere from two to $3 per unit. So you are saving $4 right there by not paying taxes and having the prep center prep it for you. That's huge. Now, the only disadvantage that I see with prep centers is that you do not have ultimate control. The inventory is not getting to your own house is getting to somebody else and you depend on somebody else to inspect everything and sometimes there are errors and mistakes it's not too frequent depending on who you work with i am pretty satisfied with my prep center and i highly recommend that you do a lot of research when you're choosing a prep center because you are entrusting a lot of money a lot of inventory to this prep center